hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today how are you guys doing today i'm in a more relaxed environment i'm comfortable there's no distraction <laughs> so how are you guys doing thank you for subscribing to my youtube channel thank you for always liking thank you for sharing my videos thank you for even finding it worthy or follow or subscribe or all those other interesting things happening on on youtube so on this video today i will be talking to you guys about my babcock experiences yes many of you do not know that i went to babcock university in elision yes i went to babcock so i'll be talking about my experiences in babcock was it really worth it to attend babcock what is babcock what are their fees like what is the old thing about babcock so let's get right into the video first thing is that i'll tell you babcock is a missionary school it's a christian school located in ogun state elision in nigeria many of you would know that so um it's a school it's a mixed school and it's very christian oriented in the sense that they have so many rules and regulations that you have to follow in order to survive this school literally so um my bsc my undergraduate i studied in unilag so me moving to babcock for my masters was a very different story and different very different moment for me a very different um environment different experiences in general so um when i'm when i finished from unilag and i moved to babcock for my exam for my mba it was pretty easy on like unilag where i had to write several exams and all so um it was in late 2020 i think in october 2020 i saw the application so to babcock and i applied to the school it was online i wrote my um, proposal and then i submitted everything online and i never visited the school to submit anything i submitted everything online and then um in like a few weeks i got a mail that i had gotten admission to study mba and this is me coming from french language i studied french language in the university of lagos so going from french language to mba was really 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 shocking i would say it was something that i did not even expect i was just trying my luck for admission that maybe let me just see because i tried french language masters in unilag and i got the admission immediately but then i was like let me just try something else in babcock let's see what they offer me so i just tried mba and then i got admission in mba babcock and then i got french masters in unilag too so i weighed my option which one would pay me which one would be faster because time is going you know so when i checked unilag and uh, luckily for me it was that period when asu started or they were on lockdown and they weren't functioning so i just went for babcock because babcock even in the lockdown period they were still functioning we had classes online we did everything online so when i got my addition we started the classes in october 28th i can never forget we were doing all these answers that year <laughs> we're doing the whole answers answers so um yeah october 28th and then we began for semester was um it runs for three months october november december yeah october november december you run for three months then you the next year january to april another semester then from june from april to september you're going to have five months break then you resume in october again for another semester so in total i had about four semesters in babcock and everything was online it was an interesting journey for me i met a lot of beautiful people i met a lot of pleasant lecturers Kristen got fearing you know he drawed me closer to god because any small thing in his chapel where we're having classes we always pray and read the bible before classes like when we start when you open your computer the first thing they will do is probably call you to pray more your pray for us in jesus name in the mighty name of jesus so the next if if you if you pray another person can be called upon to read a bible verse okay read chapter this one of chapter that one and then the lecturer will preach before we start our classes so it was like a way to draw you closer to christ if you're a christian and you want such environment and also um it was pretty pretty stressful it was 7 a.m to 7 p.m every day every god day it was 7 a.m to 7 p.m if you are lucky at all we won't have classes at all in a day or we might have like midday so by three or four or the lecturer doesn't come at all maybe because of one 
issue or the other but it was very stressful so you have to prepare your mind for what you want to go and do you will work you will study you will read babcock is not beans it's one of the private schools that i can vouch for that they are doing they know what they are doing they know what they are doing and they are on time there's no strike there's no waiting there's no delay there's nothing of all the such so if you're looking for means to have a master's and you do not have means to relocate you can try babcock university they did not pay me to do this advert for them nobody paid me i am just thankful for them that they have given me a way to have an mba with such ease online i did all my mba online the only time i visited babcock was when i wanted to write examination so we would go to the school for like two weeks spend two weeks there and they write the exam for a week and then you go back home for holidays and then you resume back online take your courses online go to the school for the exam and then resume back online again for the next semester so i am just very glad that i came through them i don't know Nobody told me about it i just tried my luck that 2020 and then i got the admission so if you're looking if you can spend the money and uh, we paid about three hundred and seventy eight thousand four times so you can divide your school fees into four times so we paid 378 first semester second semester third semester and the fourth semester so if you're looking if you have the money you are earning you can afford it your parents can afford it i think you should go for it if you are trying your luck with masters in abroad and you're not getting it and time is running on your side so if you want to take your masters easily fast and you're in lagos or you're in anywhere around nigeria i think i recommend that you go for babcock university if you do not have time to travel also people that are working had cosmates that were working and they were doing mba with like we, we that weren't working so it was easy if they group us together you know you know this person is working they will just pay for the assignments you know printing out scanning and all those things and sometimes when you schedule meeting with them they'll have to join you you know sometimes they will not be in, they will not be able to join the class they would um join online like while you're driving lecturers are so nice they tell you you're driving please don't press your phone whenever you're free join later it was just very sweet and it was very it was a very blessed journey me i really appreciate the fact that i came across that school honestly whatever i see whatever i see that is good me i need to appreciate it it's a very good school everybody needs to know about it so if you are working in nigeria and you want to have your masters you can try babcock university you can try regular module you can try um um what's the other module you can try regular module you can try elongated module those are the two modules they have regular module is for people that are not working and um, elongated is for people that have a job so that one usually takes like more than the regular years like probably you're supposed to finish your master's in two years you might finish in two and a half or three years so that's for people that are working elongated module so me i always advise that you go for regular module if you are in the or you want to finish and move to canada or you want to apply for um, express entry and you need to add another certification to your bsc and you do not have admission in all these federal in all these universities abroad may i advise that you try babcock university there's no strike there's um they are true to their words you write the exam you pass and you collect your certification no strike there's no need for any extra voila and that thing about babcock is that if you are studying with them and then you get visas to travel abroad you know you can continue your study in any university in the abroad where you went to like for example if like for example me as i relocated to brazil if i find a federal university in brazil or a private university in brazil i can do my continued study brazil university allows it Babcock allows it. So you can do a continued study program. I can transfer my credit, transfer my everything from Babcock to a school, to a university here that I registered and got an admission to here in Brazil. I have a friend that also did it. He's in another department. I would like not expose him or her. So um they, they went to Poland and then the school they went in Poland, they transferred credits. This one is even undergraduate, transferred credits from um, Babcock to invest in Poland advice that which is very reasonable and very smart of the school so also when you come for the exam in um, the school premises you pay 1000 per day in the hostel where you're going to be staying if you don't want to stay outside the hostel you want to stay inside the hostel you pay 1000 per day in the hostel and then um, 
say like one week the exam is usually one week so you pay like five thousand or seven thousand per day depending if you want to stay saturday sunday extra so um you pay one thousand per day to the bank and then you feed yourself no cooking in the hostel you have to buy food outside for postgraduate we were allowed to go outside of the school so we and like myself and my classmates will drive to we drive around elision to find places where we can buy food and eat so that that was a very very like very cool thing to do but for undergraduate you won't be able to do that you're not allowed to leave the school premises you're a body school student <laughs> but like we postgraduate we weren't body school students so i just want to talk about this school i have always been meaning to talk about it like my babcock experience it was very very peaceful i enjoyed it i appreciate all my lecturers i appreciate all the people that i met along my journey my classmates my 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 roommates everybody my this hostel porter the professors so many people i don't want to mention their names but i appreciate them a lot and i wish them so many good lucks in life good luck in life so this is my this is my advice to people that are looking for admission you can try babcock university if you do not get admission in the in the um university abroad and thank you guys for listening to my video today wishing you good luck ciao